फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सिंकोनाइज थ्री डिफरेंट मॉडल वेरिएबल फ्रिक्वेंसी ड्राइव वैन वी इंक्रीज मास्टर पोर्ट यू कैन सी वैन वी इंक्रीज मास्टर पोर्ट ऑल अवर थ्री वेरिएबल फ्रिक्वेंसी ड्राइव स्पीड इंक्रीज एट अ सेम टाइम यू कैन सी एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल वी एफ डी स्पीड सेपरेटली फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कंट्रोल थर्ड वी एफ डी स्पीड सो वी रोटेट थर्ड स्लेव पोर्ट ना फॉर सेकेंड वी एफ डी वी रोटेट सेकेंड स्लेव पोर्ट so by this synchronizing connection so by this synchronizing connection if you want to control all vfd speed at the same time so just rotate master port and if you want to control vfd speed separately so just rotate slave port so for this connection we first learn how to do connection so first learn a setup after that we will learn which parameter we need to set so we connected to denfors drive and one siemens synamics v20 drive so first is setup so we connect one slave port by this slave one port we can control denfors first drive you can see here by slave first port and slave two port we can control siemens synamics v20 drive slave three port we control third denfors drive okay and for control all vfd speed we connect one master port If you rotate this master port, all three VFD speed will control according to this master port. Okay, I hope you clear the concept. We connect three selector switch. By this selector switch, we can start and stop our VFD. Okay, so we connect three selector switch. In this video, we will learn connection for two wire mode wiring. Okay. I hope you clear the concept. In Danfoss drive, twelve number point is for twenty four volt DC, and we do connection in PNP mode. So we use twelve number wire. Connect this wire in selector switch. In this selector switch, we connect an element. When we on this selector switch, our drive should run. So connect the selector switch output in eighteen number point. Eighteen number point is digital input first. Okay. so we connect this selector switch output in 18 number point same connection for second denfors vfd after that we will learn which parameter we need to set for two wire mode and digital input connection okay so second vfd 12 number point connect to selector switch first and selector output connect in 18 number point okay connection is same as we done in previous connection in siemens synamics v20 drive you can see we connect to 24 volt dc supply point okay so we connect to 24 volt dc supply point connect to selector switch input and output we connect di1 okay i hope you clear the concept so di1 connection connection from selector switch okay so two wire wiring mode connection is now done now before learning master port connection first you need to identify potentiometer terminal in this potentiometer we have total three terminal first you just need to identify which terminal is for positive supply which terminal for negative supply and which terminal for reference okay so first terminal for positive supply in this terminal we need to provide 10 volt second terminal for 0 volt and third terminal this terminal for potentiometer reference okay so first you need to identify potentiometer terminal now we learn how to do master port connection so master port connection first we need to give 10 volt and 0 volt supply from any of the variable frequency drive so first we connect 10 volt supply from denfors vfd so in denfors vfd we have 50 number point 50 number point for 10 volt supply so we connect 10 volt supply in master port now for 0 volt supply we connect 55 number point and 55 number point connect in potentiometer so in master port we connect 10 volt supply and 0 volt supply this is very basic concept first we need to provide 10 volt and 0 volt in master port now for slave port connection we need to provide first negative supply all potentiometer and all vfd so first we connect a negative to slave one port also we connect a negative to siemens drive in which 0 volt point also we connect a negative to denfors drive 55 number point now we connect a 0 volt to slave two port and we connect a negative to slave three port our negative connection is now done in all slave three port and also in vft okay now we learn how to provide positive power supply as we know when we rotate master port all three drive frequency should be increase and decrease according to master port so for this application 
when master port operate so all three drive frequency should be increased or decreased so we connect a master port output or reference terminal wire to all slave port as a input okay it's most important concept so output of master port connect in slave first port as a input okay when master port rotate reference come in slave first port also connect this reference to slave second port also in slave third port if you have other port so connect as a input of master port reference wire hope you clear the concept okay now when we rotate slave first port so first drive should be increased so slave first output or reference terminal wire okay so we connect a slave first reference wire to first den first drive as a analog input so we connect in 53 number point okay slave first port connection is now done now when you rotate slave first port so first drive frequency will be increase or decrease now same connection for slave second port so slave 2 reference point connect to the den force drive a i1 terminal analog input reference point same connection for slave third port slave third reference connect in den force drive 53 number point as a analog reference hope you clear the concept of how to do master port wiring and all slave port wiring okay now for this connection which parameter we need to enter in all variable frequency drive let's learn okay first learn in den force drive so for parameter entering first we press menu button okay menu button o m1 again press menu button zero group is showing by increasing first we need to enter in third group okay third group we enter 0 2 parameter for minimum frequency 0 3 parameter for maximum frequency now for potentiometer connection we enter in 15 parameter okay 15 parameter for reference source of selection because we increasing frequency with potentiometer so we set 1 okay for reference source of selection we enter 1 as a digital input we use 18 number terminal okay so for 18 number we need to provide command so first we enter in fifth group fifth group enter in 10 parameter okay 10 parameter for digital input 18 number point so we set 8 8 for forward rotation forward start okay so we set 8 okay so digital input connection is now done now for Siemens Synamics V20 drive first we need to enter in 700 parameter 700 parameter for command of source selection because we start stop our variable frequency drive with external push button or selector switch so we set 2 ok for external push button selection ok now next parameter is for 1000 1000 parameter of reference of source selection because we increase decrease variable frequency drive with potentiometer so we set analog reference selection so set 2 ok I hope you clear the concept of how to do synchronizing connection of three different variable frequency drive, how to do wiring, working and which parameter we set to enter in variable frequency drive. I hope you clear the concept. If you like video, please press like button. For today's enough.